Hello everyone. Recently, Rebecca and I ended up going to an animal shelter and we ended up bringing home a new dog. Uh, her name is Bella and she was a pit bull mix is what she was. And when we got her, she was, um, she was very timid and shy acting and very kind of standoffish, very calm dog. And um, things changed uh, since then. So I just thought maybe we'd give you an update on how that kind of all turned out. So Bella, um, they say that dogs actually, they take about three days before they kind of come out of their shell when introduced into a new home. And the longer we had Bella, the more active she got. She got to be super kind of hyper and, and very active um, and uh, definitely coming out of her shell. And on the, uh, I think the second day we had her, since she was so active, we decided to get uh, a tennis ball to see if we could get her to play with the ball. So I ended up going out to the barn and uh, found where our tennis rackets and stuff was, found a tennis ball, came into the house. I ended up calling Bella over and showed her that I had a tennis ball and, and she's all happy and she's wagging her tail. And uh, we dropped the tennis ball, I dropped the tennis ball for her and she wasn't for sure where it went. She kind of looked around, didn't know where it was. Well, our little dog Maggie walked up and she uh, picked up that ball. Well, Bella looked over there and saw that Maggie had that ball and she just instantly snapped. She went from a happy dog to like very aggressive dog. I mean, she instantly jumped on Maggie. She, she bit her with her jaws, um, clamped down really hard. And I had to jump down onto Bella and grab her by the neck and get her to let go of Maggie. Um, so our little York, she's a, our Maggie is a little Yorkie uh, poodle cross. So she's like this little 10 pound dog. Well, she ended up had puncture wounds uh, from Bella uh, on one side of her back. And then I think the other side was kind of bitten into, into her shoulder. So uh, she couldn't hardly uh, walk and um, definitely has changed um, the way we looked at Bella instantaneously. Um, we were now leery of the, our new dog. Um, so, we started to try to change things. We started to, to try to feed Bella uh, separately from Maggie, our dog. We tried to feed her in the basement and uh, we fed Maggie in the laundry room and would shut the door and kind of keep them kind of separated from each other. But we were afraid to kind of leave them both alone uh, because our little dog Maggie is kind of, she thinks that she's kind of the alpha. So she just keeps kind of growling at, um, at Bella. So we were afraid that she'd probably kind of instigate something and Bella would end up hurting her even worse. So basically uh, the way it kind of has gone is I, tip, I would take Bella out with me during the day. And Bella seemed to be pretty good uh, with the animals at first. Didn't seem to be interested in the ducks or the chickens and stuff like that. But kind of the longer she got here, the more aggressive she kind of started getting. She started kind of jumping at the fence at the goats. Uh, when Rebecca went into the barnyard, uh, she wanted to try to jump the fence to get inside of there. She was just, um, you know, she's just definitely a super uh, active dog, but we were, she was showing a lot, even more signs of aggression. So we definitely didn't trust her uh, very well. And uh, we, we didn't know what to do. So I'm a huge animal lover. Um, it doesn't matter what animal it is, I absolutely love them all. And I've had dogs my whole entire life. I've taken in strays. Um, I lived in the country growing up and um, every stray animal I found, I would take in and I was comfortable um, with training them and taking care of them. Um, I kind of got to learn um, a dog's behavior, body language. Um, I was comfortable with that. So when we got Bella, I w it didn't matter what the breed was. I was comfortable as long as she was um, willing and she was seemed to be fairly friendly and um, open to training, to taking her on and doing my best. So she seemed great at first. Um, it seemed like the more comfortable she got, the more her um, bad behaviors came out. Um, she uh, did bite Maggie. Uh, she. I don't know if she thought Evan had food or, she's very food aggressive, which um, I checked for any food aggression with us when she first came. I fed her um, on a plate. 
I picked the plate up, I moved it, like all things that I always usually check with animals, she was fine with me. So I felt comfortable that um, she wasn't gonna get too aggressive over food. But she did. She um, ended up getting more aggressive over um, any type of food or treats. And Evan had the tennis ball. Um, I think she probably thought it was food. When he dropped it, she just immediately, um, she went after Maggie, because Maggie had picked it up and bit her um, and injured her. So Maggie's had trouble walking for a few days, which that wasn't the first time she'd gone after Maggie. She went after her over a treat that Maggie had hidden uh, that Bella had found. And so she'd gone after her a few times. Uh, I know there can be some issues between dogs, so I was willing to overlook it and keep working with her. Um, I did try to work on with the food aggression, feeding them separately, not having food laying around, um, not giving them treats. Um, she wasn't, she didn't seem to be aggressive over toys. I tried a lot of different things to, to see um, how strong this behavior was. And it seemed to be more like she, what she claimed was hers, she became more aggressive over. So the days I was here by myself, the UPS guy came um, and I want to say that we were exercising her like a couple hours a day, making sure she's tired and she's, you know, because I know that's important. You don't want a dog to get bored. So I made sure and take her on long walks and she did great walking on a leash, like probably the best of any dog I've ever worked with walking on a leash. Um, so we had actually just come back from a walk, an hour long walk, um, and the UPS guy came. She became very aggressive. Her, from her body language, I knew that it was not something that I wanted to try to get in between. She was actually snarling, biting at the door, tail up, her whole body was tense, hair standing up. Um, and I knew that if I tried to intervene in any way, she would bite me. Uh, I've never had that with another dog. I've never had a dog be that aggressive. And I started to feel like we were prisoners in our own home. Um, we had to carry Maggie everywhere. And it seemed like no matter how much we worked with her each day, she became more possessive of us. Um, and I know, you know, she was in a shelter for a day and it's a new place. Um, we completely agonized over the situation. I mean, it just made us sick to think of taking her back. I did call the lady that runs the shelter and I asked about us fostering her because we want to make sure she gets a good home because she can be great. Um, I have some small children that come here to the farm often, like from three years old and up. They run around the farm, play with Maggie, play with the animals. I knew that she wasn't the type of dog that would tolerate um, some of their playfulness. And that was, that was pretty much the red line for me. Um, I wasn't gonna have a kid get bit. So I did, I talked to the shelter lady. I um, asked about fostering. She said that they don't do that. They, they've never um, done fostering there, which was kind of upsetting because we do wanna make sure she gets a good home. Uh, we didn't wanna just throw in the towel and give her back. So um, we thought about it, talked about it, um, stressed over it, and finally decided that it was, it was what we had to do. We weren't the best home for her, and I hope that she finds a great home. I talked to the shelter about the type of home that I thought would work for her, like a strong young couple or um, a single man or a single woman even, um, that she could bond with, with no children. Um, and no other smaller animals. She'd be great in that situation, I think. She needs a lot of attention, a lot of training, um, but it, it wasn't gonna work for us. So we did pay for her adoption fees. Um, we paid for her microchip, we paid for all of her shots. So um, she's completely sponsored, so whoever picks her up uh, will get her um, without any costs associated. So anyways, yeah, it was very stressful. We were, we stressed over it a great deal, but I, f I feel comfortable with this decision that we made. And I know a lot of people are not gonna be happy with the decision we made. But in my mind, I was risking my nephew getting bit or um, somebody else and I couldn't handle that, so. So finally, on the fifth day, we ended up taking her back to the shelter. Well, another lady was at the shelter, 
uh, this, there's two ladies that run this dog shelter. Well, the other lady basically told Rebecca, she said, well, the lady that brought her and gave her to the shelter said that she was nipping and biting at her own owner and that's why she couldn't take it anymore. She needed, she took her to the shelter because she was basically kind of uh, biting her own owner, basically this old lady. Um, so she, they didn't know whether that was just a problem with the, the place that she lived or whether it was a dog tendency. And I think now they know that, that Bella does have some issues um, and uh, they ended up taking her back. So we do not have Bella no more. We had her for like five days and um, she just kept on getting worse the longer we had her. Definitely could not trust her. Um, and I know we're going to catch a lot of flack for that. You know, people are going to be like, you didn't give her enough chance or, or whatever. But when it all comes down to it, um, a dog biting is not, a, it, it's intolerable. You can't, you can't put up with that. Um, um, and that wasn't a risk that we were going to take to have somebody that we know uh, and our family get bit or just anybody that came to our property get bit. So we could not ch take that chance. Um, when we did pick up Bella, that lady didn't know anything about her and I think she wasn't really, maybe a, she knew, I think she wasn't really telling us everything maybe, but she basically said that look, just take her for the weekend and um, give it a trial and see what you think, you know. Um, she basically at the very beginning gave us and out. If you have any problems, bring her back. Um, and so I think that she knew that there was a really good chance that uh, we might have issues. So anyway, I, I, I thought maybe, you know, I, I wanted to kind of set, set everything clear and be honest with all you guys because you won't see, you actually might see Bella in some few clips because she actually was, uh, followed me around for a few days because I just kept her outside with me as I did all my stuff. And um, I just I didn't want to leave her in the house with Maggie, so I just leave Maggie in the house, and I just took Bella with me around the property. Um, and Bella was a super loving dog; always wanted belly rubs, but she, she wouldn't listen. You couldn't get her to really kind of behave. Uh, she was just too kind of hyperactive. But in the end, we just didn't we couldn't trust her, uh, and we weren't going to take that risk of getting somebody hurt. So, like I said, I know some people are going to give us some flack and say that we didn't give her a chance, but I, I don't care, you know. Um, in the end, I, we're not having a dog that we're afraid is going to bite somebody. So I just want to let you guys know that that's how that ended up going down. It's really sad that it ended up going down that way. Um, and uh, I think, you know, Rebecca really was looking at wanting to get another dog. And of course, we had that little beagle that she kind of nicknamed Charlie for a few days. And I think that really kind of helped her really want to have a dog. But after this whole situation with Bella, and we've never been leery of a dog like that before, and we were actually very stressed out, you wouldn't believe it, probably for the last few days, not knowing what we were gonna do, um, that I think we kind of lost the, the, the will to go get another dog right now. I think we will definitely wait for a while uh, before we even consider uh, getting another dog. But anyway, I just wanted to clear the air and uh, that's what ended up happening with Bella. Um, it's too bad. Um, she's She can be a super sweet dog, um, but sometimes things aren't just meant to be. It just didn't work out and uh, she's probably better off um, in a different situation um, than living here with us with our little dog and around all our farm animals and stuff. So uh, I hope Bella the best and I hope that she finds a an owner that will give her the attention and everything that she needs. So that's it guys. Thanks for watching. See you later.